What's up everyone, my name is Nigark. welcome to a new series. I'm going to be playing Battle Station Harbinger, so this game is a little bit interesting. It's very, very much like Faster Than Light FTL, I'm sure all of you have heard of it, it's a very popular game. But um, I've actually been sitting on this game for a few months, and I just recently realized that, oh crap, I never made videos for it, and it's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this play button, I'm not gonna do the tutorial because, um, why would I? I already did that. Um, we can select our ship here, but I do not have any of them unlocked. Uh, you get them just from leveling up, you can see that it's just, it's, it's your character's level. I'm only level 1 right now, so we can start with the BSE Nightingale. The Light Assault Cruiser has, has some pretty good thrusts, has some alright speed, pretty, pretty average on everything. You can see I have played once just to, just to see how every, everything runs out, and then we are going to randomize the map a few times and just start it up. So my mission is scout drones have returned with footage of celestial energy processing outposts holding humans captive and plugged into machines. I need you to find these outposts and obliterate them. We have found information that the last celestial station can be awake can be weakened by destroying the outpost first. Good luck, commander. So, there we go. So missiles ignore shields. Cool. Start. Uh, commander, our research indicates that the celestial outposts are powering the main celestial station. This is valuable information. You can weaken the Celestial main station by destroying the outpost first, Commander. So, destroy enemy ship, destroy enemy ship, destroy enemy ship, destroy enemy ship. Those are like the the important things. And then there's my rewards. Cool. So, we're going to click on our little ship. We're going to just gather up all of this scrappy stuff and you can see it in the top right what it's given me. And then I go into engineering, and this is my ship layout. So instead of like FTL where you find items, I'm not sure if you can find items in this game, but I know that you can definitely make them. So what I'm going to start out with is, let's say like a missile turret, long range missile turret, good against enemy hull, homing capabilities determined by accuracy, and penetrate shields. So you can see all of that there, and we're just going to buy one of those. Cool, and it has some upgrades here. Oh, that's what those are used for. Okay. So it takes eight things to uh, upgrade stuff. So on our main weapon slot, we have the missile, the human missile turret, it says. And let's, let's get something else. Let's get like projectile cannon. Firing large high speed projectiles, this turret has good hull damage, but low shield damage. I kind of want stuff that just goes through shields. High shield damage does continuous damage and is accurate. I'm good with accurate weapons. Cool. And now we have 450 things left, so we can do bolster, laser, gatling, or shield boost. Um, let's check out short range energy weapon for shorter short range battles and point defense against incoming missiles. You know, I think um, a little bit of defense against missiles will be pretty good. And yeah, we'll actually get double defense against missiles. So that's that's what I've got my ship with right now. So that's pretty cool. We're going to go to the star map. I am here. You can see the legend really quick if you want to just like give this a quick look over. The little pointer is a ship. Um, there's fleets, stations, which is where I'm at right now, objectives, and then there are the different sectors. So, we are going to click on the sector, it looks like it has an enemy in it, and we're going to jump. Whoa! And then I am going to pause as I land. And I can zoom out and I can see, where is the enemy? I believe... One of these little blips is an enemy. Whatever, but you can see up here how my jump is like recharging now. I detected a container in the sector, it may hold valuable contents, proceed with care, it can also be a trap. Oh, that little thing is an enemy, so he is going to come in and we're going to just open up fire on him. And sector is cleared, pretty good. I don't know if there's a- oh hey, I can click it. Oh, it's a trap. Okay, so there was hostile ships inside of that. So it's not entirely like uh, faster than light where you just- sort of sit in one spot. There is maneuvering that you can do, and also part of the engineering is um, is that you can 
like get little ships that also fly around and you can also get more ships in here for more scrap to be part of your fleet so that's that's pretty neat it's pretty cool so engineering is telling me I think oh I found a thing okay celestial laser cannon long-range laser turret firing a laser beam with high shield damage does continuous damage and is accurate it looks like it's almost a straight upgrade, except for accuracy on that, so we're gonna take that. Hmm, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that you could actually find stuff, so that's good to know. And then this, we can either get shield damage upgrade, hull damage upgrade, or recharge time upgrade. I think I'm gonna get a recharge time upgrade on this as well. Oh, okay, so the cost goes up across the board. And also, I can get... Yeah, let's do a range upgrade. Cool. I don't know why this still has an exclamation mark. Oh, cargo. Okay. I had to move it into my cargo hold. And this one is a, what, black hole? I don't know what a black hole is, so we're gonna check out what a black hole is. What is this? Whoa! Ugh. I mean, it looks cool. I'm not really sure I want to be around it. Is it hurting me? I don't know. Oh, sector drains whole of your ship. Jump engines need to recharge in this sector. You cannot wait a turn in the sector. You cannot repair in the sector. Okay. So you actually have to sit in it while it damages your hull. Which is that little yellow, or the orange line there. Wow, lots of stations here. We're gonna come over here because there's an enemy ship over here. And I want to kill enemy ships. Oh, I guess there's no enemy ship over here? This little, little dude. And I also don't know if fast forwarding is possible. I know I can like, pause with spacebar over here. But I'm not entirely sure about fast forwarding. I'm also not sure about like, selling this. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about that. In fact, um, star map. There's my legend. Is there like... No, the only thing I could think of is at stations. Because I don't see, like, a shop. So, if I remember correctly, I can get repaired by being near a station, so that's why I'm doing this. Because otherwise I could hit this. Oh, repair ship at station. Boom, did it. Cool. So, my ship was repaired. I thought I had to be close to it, but I guess not. So, there's a fleet over here. There's a little ship going over there, but we're gonna we're gonna hop over here where there's three enemy ships. I want to check this out. Let's see what's happening over here. Okay, so it's just it's a few little ships. I should be able to take these out pretty much no problem, I think. Yeah, look at it go. That is so cool. So yeah, I also basically what. What uh, reminded me that I even had this game is I looked on Steam and I was like, okay, that game looks cool, let me mail them. And then I went to mail them and it said, hey, you've already mailed them. So I looked and they were like, oh yeah, by the way, here's, here's access to the game. So whoops, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I hate when I forget things like that. I don't want to fight in a black hole. I do see objectives over here though, so let's... Start heading over there. I know in the beginning it showed me the map. I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it. I'll be honest. Lots of tiny ships here too. Just gonna, just gonna let my shield sort of tank them up. I don't have a whole lot of weapons to deal with these guys either, so... I'm noticing that they are just sort of being a nuisance to me. Then we'll get some range on them. My missile will hit them. That'll hit them. There we go. Cool, and out in space I can repair for scrap or whatever it's called. I don't know exactly what it's called. So let's jump over here. I think I can take out whatever this little fleet is. Yeah, I should be able to take it out. Uh, actually that's- oh god, no, I'm not gonna be able to take that out. Ah, uh, ah, uh, mistakes were made. Whoa, missile. 
I guess. Nope, mistakes were made. Run. 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 That almost sucked. Huh. Okay. Um. Oh, it chased me. It chased me. Oh, it chased me. Oh no. I was like, why can't I repair? Boom. We nailed it. We got it. Oh, it has a little crap inside. Oh no. Oh man. Repair ship at station. Heck yes. Heck yeah. Okay, so is there really no way to, like... Oh, sell it for 325 bucks. Yes. Cool. Now I want to actually try out getting another thing for my thing. My fleet. Another thing for my thing, as I said. A light carrier. Um, a scout ship. I want, like, assault ships. I want, like, actual, factual, dealing damage things. You know what, let's go to engineering. I'm, I'm gonna get a little bit of support up here. So what I'm gonna get is plasma or missile bombers. Elite small attack ships equipped- oh wait, I can't quite afford that. Repair drones? Hello. Small drone robot ships capable of fixing friendly ships whole, uses scrap to repair whole- eh. I don't like that it uses scrap. Small robot ships equipped with an energy bolter turret, more agile than fighters but with less hull. Mm. Elite bombers equipped with high shield damage, energy turret, low maneuverability, but good range. No, we're gonna try bolter drones. And you'll see that uh, whenever I'm out, it's just gonna send out little ships like that. So that obviously didn't go super well. Um, and it looks like things are chasing me, so I'm gonna try to cut them off. Before they just start coming on to me. And then you can see this little dude. Yeah, he's just like on it. Oh, look at him go. And if they get destroyed, they just come right back. It's not even a big deal. I should have been trying to get more range on him instead of like walking up to him, but I think it's fine. Um, star map. Yeah, there's a fleet over there again. And it looks like there's a ship over here. Because I think some things happen in real time. Don't worry, I'm here to steal the loot. I'm here to take the loot. Don't mind me. Just give me your loot. Oh. Distress beacon. Activate the distress beacon in star map. This will alert nearby enemy ships to your sector. Interesting. What does it sell for? 62. Interesting. Neat. Okay. I like that that's an option, that I can just sort of drag enemy ships to me. We want to keep some distance here. Make sure you guys are firing off your stuff. Oh, why are you going over there? No. Some distance here. There goes my little dudes. Nice. And then was there anything they left behind? I can click on that? Nope. That's that's just getting sucked in. Don't even know what it was. I just got it. Star map. Let's check out over here. There's a station over here too, so... Okay, it's all the way up here. So little guys, just go charge it. See, my missile can fire from all the way back here, so if I stay at range, things are going to be kind of okay. I mean, they can deflect with their little things. Oh. Oh, those go away after a certain range. Nice. So they can deflect, but if they can't deflect all of them, then we're going to be good. I don't know if they can deflect all of them. It looks like they kind of can. I might have to close in to be able to do anything to them. Okay, let's close in a little bit. Alright, little guys. 
lead the charge. Oh, there's the laser. Heck yeah. Uh, I'm trying to... My ship is not very maneuverable. I'm trying to, um... Dodge some of their bullets, but it's not quite working out that way. It looks like they're getting repaired. I think that's what's happening there. But it's okay if I eat damage, because I have the station here to repair me. I do have the station here to repair me. And now we just have to destroy their little their little butt drones. Nice. Cool. And then it's what? Uh repair? Yeah. Neat. You know what? We'll we'll try it. Let's try this little light carrier. Ship joined party. So if I go to engineering now, can I like Oh yeah, A and D lets me move through them. Oh, and he can have little thing. Oh, cool. So he may not be very good for like anything, but what was that? What did what was that little pulsar thing? Whatever. He's fine. There is a fleet over here. We'll try it out. We'll see. Right now I'm just- I'm in the experiment- experimenting stages of, uh, learning this game. I- I'm not an expert at it at all. It's like when I first started Planet Base and I- I lost every game really fast. And then I nailed it. Cool, cool. In fact, what if I, um, can I take this off? And then, like... Like, drop it in space, and then... Yeah, so it has the drones now. Oh my goodness. Shield damage upgrade? Oh. Max ships upgrade? Yeah, we're gonna get more ships on that. So, we're now gonna be sending out multiple. We're gonna be sending out three. I said multiple as if I wasn't already sending out multiple. Oh, I have a distress button here. Distress. So I just sent out a distress beacon. We're gonna wait a turn to see if any of them come. It doesn't appear that any of them are coming. What if I wait one more turn? Am I allowed to do that? That one just appeared, so let's see if it actually comes over. No, it doesn't appear to be coming over, so we're gonna actually attack into this fleet. I want to check it out. I want to see if I can nail this fleet. Oh, I like this little this little dude. Just sending out all the little awesome things for me. Man, those little drones are cool. Those little drones are amazing. As long as I keep this like out of trouble, I'm I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident as long as I keep him out of trouble. Let's go to star map. Yeah, I took that over. They're gonna start jumping over here, so we're actually gonna cut them off. I don't want them going behind me. I don't know what they're gonna do back there. Something is happening because, yeah, okay. Because it wasn't letting me jump immediately. I'm just gonna come over like that. Boom, right in the hole. Just gonna separate him up a little bit. There you go. Oh yeah, this dude is dead. You're you're smoked. Awesome. Give me all your stuff. And we'll fly on. Actually, I can upgrade again. I can upgrade again. Let's go over to here. Hull damage. Let's go with shield damage. I think shield damage will be good. Oh. They're sending out more ships over here. Okay. Hostile ships! Oh no! What am I going to do besides kill them? 
I want to get like mid range so that my laser can hit. It's kind of my goal here is to let my laser and missiles hit at the same time. So I think about this is the range for the laser. Laser? Oh, we kind of did it. There you go. Give me all your stuff. I can totally repair up while we're here. I'm curious what that little red thing is. I have no idea what that is. It might just be like a free repair sort of thing. Ooh, asteroid field. These things hurt because uh, it's just like FTL. Asteroids will hit you constantly. It's great. It's awesome. And my itty bitty ships over here do not like being hit by asteroids at all. I mean, you can kind of dodge them. Like, kind of dodge them. But not, not super well. Just kind of hoping that he doesn't take too much heat over here with asteroids. Laser on, yo! Oh, they're sending out little jerks. Oh, oh this is bad. Oh, they've got little jerks on me. Nope, keep keep heading over there. Oh, oh no. I think I'm gonna lose. I think I'm gonna lose. No. No. Yep, game over. Damn. Two big ships in an asteroid belt is pretty hard. And then for everything that you did, uh, and how long your turns took and all of that, you gain some experience, and then eventually you level up and you unlock other ships. And that's how you progress in the game. So I think I'm going to have a lot of fun playing this, and I'm hoping you're going to enjoy the series. But my name is Nagark, this is... Crap. Battle Station Harbinger, and thank you for watching.